Hey guys! Sorry that it's been a little while. Um, yeah. I... I made videos. I filmed a bunch. I filmed, like, favorites of 2013. I filmed all sorts of things that would have been great to have uploaded before the 20th of January, but they didn't happen, and so we're just gonna move on and forget that I ever filmed them, and we're here now, and this is what we're doing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We're gonna talk about something that I feel kind of unqualified to talk about, which is like health and fitness, and we're going to talk about them because it's, it is the new year. It is January, and a lot of people at the start of the new year make resolutions to get fit, and resolutions to lose weight, and resolutions to eat better, and resolutions to be healthier, and then they abandon them by now, which is January 20th. <laughs> uh, they abandon them, and I wanted to talk about them now, because I'm just sort of getting into my personal resolution of getting healthier and more fit, or whatever. And I will just preface this by saying I don't really do New Year's resolutions. I don't really like them. I think that they're kind of stupid. But I am doing this because I, well, a variety of reasons, actually. To start, I'm going to be in a wedding in May, and there are going to be a thousand pictures taken of me, and I want to look good for those pictures, because I'm vain. I, straight up, I'm, I'm vain, and I saw pictures of myself in my bridesmaid dress when we were trying them on, and didn't really like how I looked, and I have made a vow to look better by the time we take more pictures. So there's that. Second off, I'm going to Brazil this summer on a mission trip, and I just should be more physically fit for that. It would be really helpful if I was more fit. I It just would. And so, um, yeah, so this isn't a thing for me about losing weight. It isn't a thing about trying to be thinner. It's just a thing about being healthier and being more physically fit. So, that's that. I'll just throw out there too, when I watch a lot of YouTubers in the beauty guru YouTube community, I just noticed that a lot of it is just, I, ugh, I don't even know. When it comes to talking about health and fitness and eating, a lot of the beauty gurus are from LA, and I've just noticed this huge, like, discrepancy whenever I watch like Miss Glamorazzi or Glam Life Guru when they talk about food and what they eat and how they exercise and everything like it just makes me all more aware that I am from Illinois <laughs> and like they're from LA and they use monk fruit sweetener and drink almond milk and brown rice pasta and gluten free and dairy free and I'll just have half a grapefruit thank you. And I come from a place where at our state fair we serve deep fried butter on a stick. So, a true fact, like that's a real thing. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just, when I watch people using monk fruit sweetener and controlling the sweetness of their hot chocolate, I'm like, who the frick are you? Like, I put extra sugar in my hot chocolate, thank you. I am not going to claim to be the epitome of health. I had cheese fries for lunch. Not gonna deny that. And I don't eat well because I like good, fattening, sugary foods. It's just how I am. I'm from the Midwest. I am a firm believer that eating what you want to a degree makes you feel better. Whether that what you want is healthy or not. Sometimes I just need a double bacon cheeseburger in my life and it makes me feel really great. Now, am I gonna just sit on my butt after eating a double bacon cheeseburger? No. Like, there's a balance to burning off what you put in and, you know, putting limits on what you put in and not having a double bacon cheeseburger every single day, but you, you get my drift. I mean, this isn't rocket science, it's just kind of basic eating habits. You limit the bad foods, you try to eat most of the good foods, and you burn off whatever's left. Science. As far as what I do when I work out, this is not by any means like the standard of what you should do when you work out, I'm just telling you what I do. And it's different than most people because my body requires different things. 
Um, when I was in high school, I was in an aerobics, dance, and fitness class where twice a week we would do kickboxing, twice a week we would do dance, and once a week we would do yoga. And so I was getting a very well-rounded body workout in that class. Now that was five days a week for two years, and I had the most slamming body in the world after that. I haven't done that since, and what my workout kind of routine is, it's kind of simulated off of that but more into my lifestyle, basically. What I have been trying to do, and not necessarily succeeding, depending on whether or not I want to sleep more, when I get up after I eat breakfast and before I take a shower, I've been trying to do some yoga. First off, it stretches out my back, which I need because I have scoliosis, and it the stretches and the poses are good for my core, which is also good for my back. So I've been doing kind of a pie-yo routine in the mornings. Sometimes. <laughs> I've been working out twice a week at school because I have really long breaks in between classes in which I can work out. Um, I've been choosing to go to my school's rec center because they have good equipment there. I've been using primarily their elliptical machines because that's good for my knees, which I also have problems with. So there's that. Um, and it's also good for my back. I did a lot with an elliptical machine in physical therapy when I was there for my back and my knee. So I've been doing a lot of that and that's been really good for me too. And it's been good to kind of clear my head in between school sessions as well. Sometimes if I have a ton of homework I just do that in between classes instead and that's fine too but you know I've been making really diligent effort to go to the rec center and do that because it, it is good for you and just spending like half an hour to an hour on the elliptical like it's not hard exercise like but it still is doing a lot for your body. So that's been really good for me. Then a couple times a week as well, I've been really bad about doing this, but I've been trying to get back into doing my specific back exercises that I got from my physical therapist. Being in school, my back actually hurts more because I'm sitting in a chair for so long and it puts a lot of strain on my back. And so I notice like more pain that comes from that. And so I've been trying to do that as well. And the combination of the yoga and the elliptical machine working and the back exercises is just enough for my body to kind of tone it out. So that's what I do. That's not what everybody should do. Some people need more cardio. Some people need more weights. Some people need more other things. That's my, ah, uh, That's just what I do because it's easy for me to maintain and actually do. I am not someone who feels super great after working out. I am not that person who gets a high from working out. I am not that person who loves working out. It takes a ton of motivation to get me to actually actively go and work out. So <laughs> I need something easy basically to make myself do it. I can't go into it thinking I'm gonna really burn a sweat today because then I'll just be like nope not gonna happen. <laughs> I don't feel like burning a sweat today. I want Starbucks instead. Um, yeah, I'm really bad about that. So that's, that's what I do. That's my workout routine. The other thing about motivation to work out, and this is really stupid and really materialistic, but what I really needed to get myself to want to work out more is clothes to work out in. And I realize how bad that sounds, but hear me out for a quick second. In high school, I had a gym uniform, because we all had a gym uniform, so I wore that to work out every day. That was fine, but when you're in college, you don't really want to wear your high school gym uniform anymore, because that's kind of ridiculous. So I didn't want to wear that. All of the sweatpants that I had, just like normal sweatpants, all had tons of paint stains on them, because I was in theater and when we would paint stuff I would wear my sweatpants and so all my sweatpants are covered in paint. I don't want to wear my paint stained sweatpants when I'm going to the gym in public in front of other people to work out. So I just, I needed to get something that made me feel better about working out and I think there really is a psychological effect to if you're putting on something that makes you feel good about yourself while you're working out, you're gonna work out better. Like, I really think that. And maybe that's crazy. It probably is. But I, if I look like a grunge and feel like a grunge, I'm not gonna be all happed up to work out. I'm just not. I'm gonna feel sluggish and like I wanna sit in front of the TV eating chips. So instead, I, I feel like if I look really athletic, then I will 
behave more athletically. So now I want to get into what I wear to work out, which is really why you're watching this anyway. This is a fashion channel, let's be honest. Let's see what Jordan wears to work out. First off is something that I think that everyone needs in their life, and it is a gym bag that is specific to going to the gym. I was using other bags for a while, and the taking the clothes out and putting it in and then get, getting everything shuffled up with everything else that was in my normal everyday bag was just not very fun for me and I had a big problem with it and so I really needed a bag that was dedicated towards going to the gym. This one is from Target which you'll find a running theme through here. I got a lot of my workout wear from Target because they have great stuff. Um, but I just love how this bag looks. First off, I would carry this as like a normal purse. It's got a nifty little pocket on the outside that, you know, you can put a cell phone and keys in and then you don't have to carry in all of your other stuff. You can leave your other purse in the car. And it also has this extra like pouch on the inside that like is connected. And that is really convenient too for like your smelly clothes or whatever. You just shove in that little bag and then it keeps the rest of what's in there if it's still clean clean and not smelly. So this has been awesome and I've been definitely utilizing this amazing pretty bag and it just looks sporty and fun. Like I feel better carrying this bag into the gym than some other crapo bag. So that's another psychological weird stupid thing. But I love this bag so you know it's been good for me. I have two different athletic shoes. The first are my Asics which I got in high school when I was going through physical therapy for my knees and they were like, you need better shoes than what you're wearing right now that are going to be more supportive of your knees. And so I got these and I don't wear them very often. I really only wear these in the summers. I like to walk around my neighborhood with my mom and it's a good way to get us both out and moving. And if I'm doing a lot of walking, I will definitely wear these because they are really supportive. And the thing that I like about them versus other athletic shoes like New Balance and... Nikes and all those other things, they're really light. They're so much lighter and maybe it was just the time of athletic shoes that I was buying them. I think that athletic shoes are getting a lot better now with like the different like funky weavy sole. You know what I'm talking about. Um, that didn't exist when I was looking for athletic shoes and they were all just really heavy and I felt like I was carrying two tons of weight on each of my feet and this did not feel that way and it's really, yeah, they're just kind of cute. I mean, sort of. They're not the cutest things in the world, but at least they've got some pink on them, and they're not the ugliest things in the world either. I really do, now that, like, bright athletic trainers, like, exist, I want some. But I have these, and these are, like, $200 shoes, so I'm not gonna get another pair just because they're cuter. And, yeah, they have done a really good job for me. The other athletic shoes that I wear more if I am doing something that's just, like, you know, your basic yoga training kind of thing or just on the elliptical where I don't need a ton of support. I wear these Merrells which are fabulous. I had a pair of Merrells when I was in fifth grade that we got by some fluke like at a garage sale and I fell in love with them because they have this air cushion sole and they were so comfortable and then I grew out of them because I was in fifth grade and my feet were still growing. So my mom has those Merrells now. They've lasted that long. They're pretty fabulous. Um, and yeah, they're just really amazing and comfortable. They sell them a lot at TJ Maxx, actually, in a lot of different varieties. They have almost like sandal ones too, but then they've got these like athletic ones. They're really great. If you can't find them at a cheaper price at TJ Maxx, you can get them full price at places like Von Maur and sometimes like Carson's will have them, places like that. Department stores will carry them. But they're just really wonderful and yeah, they don't have like thick support or anything but they're just the right amount of cushion and these ones in particular have this kind of like basket weave. I don't know what you would really call it but they're it's like breathable material so that's really nice. And these just have a zip in the front instead of lacing which I like because I hate lacing my shoes. I pretty much just double knot my shoes and then never tie or untie them. I just slip my foot in and out of them. So these are great because you don't have to deal with that at all. So I wear these the most when I work out and they are wonderful. I would be remiss if I didn't talk about sports bras and I realize that bras aren't really something that a lot of people on YouTube talk about but I think that we shouldn't be ashamed to talk about them because if you find a really great bra you should tell everybody because bra shopping is the worst thing in human existence. So for me, sports bra shopping is the same. 
I actually did not even own a sports bra until last year because A, I didn't really work out enough to justify one and B, I just couldn't find any that were comfortable. They all like, I get the point of like holding in your boobs so they don't bounce around while you're exercising, but they were so compressing like they were painful. Every one I tried on for like years and years and years and they also just didn't have any like coverage like there wasn't any coverage and I needed some coverage <laughs> and so I just was like I can't wear sports bras I just have to wear regular bras the rest of my life apparently until I came to Target Target has the sports bras guys Target is the freaking best ever um so let's just get started in on that the first sports bra is a pretty basic one this is by Champion for Target. They have their own like Target line. And this is just a really basic sports bra, but it's really soft material. I have this one in black and gray. It doesn't have much coverage, but it does have the support and it has enough coverage that if you're wearing something looser on top, like, or a jacket or something, no, no, no. So yeah, they're, this is just really comfortable and really soft. And every day that I'm lounging around the house, I wear these. If I'm sleeping, I wear them. They're that comfortable. I, yeah, and I wear them to work out too because they're just that good. Next, I feel that everybody should have a bright sports bra. There is something to this too, where if you're wearing something bright and colorful and neon and sporty, like you're gonna feel sporty. This one looks like a swimsuit on top. It's not. They say it's reversible too, so you could wear the lime green side outside. This kind of thing is good if you're wearing, I guess, a top where your bra is gonna show. And then you feel like you're more fashionable. I don't know. There's just something to that. But yeah, this is also championed by Target. It's a really good material, good solid, thick material. There is a little bit more coverage to this and really good support to this too with the thick straps. So like these a lot. And this last one is my absolute favorite. It is the sports bra of sports bras and it is another champion by Target. It is this one and it has freaking pads in it. What a concept of putting pads in a sports bra. I don't know why no one thought of this before, but I mean this is a bra that I could wear as a normal bra and it's comfortable, but I can wear it as a sports bra and sweat in it and it's not going to get gross. And it's amazing and I'm obsessed with it because it fits and it's comfortable and it has pads and so there's no worries about anything and there's support and it's fabulous. So moral of the story, go to Target for sports bras because they have the best ones ever. Getting into some pants that I wear, this is the primary pair of athletic pants that I wear and they're just pretty basic. These are by New Balance and I got them at TJ Maxx and they are really wonderful primarily because they're not skin tight. They're kind of, I guess you'd qualify them as yoga pants technically, but they're loose fitting on the leg all the way down. So they're not super hugging on your butt and they're not super tight on your thigh and they're just loosey goosey but they're still really comfortable and I'm crazy about them. I've had these since high school. I bought them when I needed like dance pants for, <laughs> that rhymed, uh, <laughs> for my dance class. I needed pants for that portion of the class and I've been in love with them ever since. They're just really fabulous and there's something to that stupid trend of wearing leggings and really really tight yoga pants that show everything that I just cannot get behind. I just can't and maybe that makes me a prude but it's not so much that. I'm just personally not comfortable working out in a thing where you can see all my goods. I... you don't need to be seeing that while I'm working out and the last thing that you want when you're working out is to feel self-conscious. So, I don't want to feel self-conscious. <laughs> That's that. My workout tops are divided into a couple different things. First off being t-shirts and I am addicted to these t-shirts from Target. These, this is really wrinkled and I apologize for that, but the wrinkles come out as you wear them, which is a good advantage. And this um, is from Target. Did I say that? Maybe I did. Um, these aren't in the athletic section of Target though. These are in the regular woman section and these are Massimo tees. They are amazing and really, really soft, really, really comfortable. They fit really, really well. Like they're just a good basic t-shirt in general to have in your wardrobe. I wear them when I'm not working out too, but they're really nice as layering pieces when I work out. I've got like 10 of them and I wear them all the time. They're just really, really great. And 
yeah, I don't, that's all I have to say about them. They're really perfect t-shirts. They're not the kind that like wick away your sweat, but personally I've had those t-shirts before and I found out that they don't really wick away jack squat. So you might as well just get a normal t-shirt and be done with it. So that's, that's what I've got. Massimo Tees from Target. I have a ton of different sweatshirts. I actually have more sweatshirts than the law should probably allow, but one of my favorites to work out in is this one from Massimo, again from Target, not in the workout section, just a normal Massimo sweatshirt. It's got kind of a terry cloth like top to it, which makes it a little more fashionable, but then it's really, really long and has a high-low hem, and so it covers my butt, which is great, and it's just really slubby and comfy, and I love this color too. Like, I just think it's a great, like, basic workout sweatshirt. It's nice too because this is the kind of thing that I can then, if I can't change or don't have time to change after I work out and just have to run to class right after I've hit the gym, I can just wear this to class and not look like an idiot. So um, that's an advantage too. And this is a top too that I do feel comfortable with wearing with like leggings or tighter yoga pants because then my butt isn't showing and you aren't seeing everything and so that's the nice thing about this too is that it's loose and slubby and keeps you covered while you work out. Modesty, kids. Another general working out thing is drinking a ton of water. I talked about this Camelback water bottle in another video so I'm not going to go into how much I love it but I really really love it. It's completely perfect and I drink a ton of water in general. I get dehydrated really easily. I don't really know where that comes from, but for whatever reason, ever since I was little, like if I'm outside for too long or I'm working too hard, I will just be really dehydrated. And so I've discovered that I need to hydrate myself really, really well. And especially this coming summer, since I'm going to Brazil, last time I was in Brazil, I dehydrated myself and my ankles swelled up and it was really, really horrible. <laughs> and so, you know, I've just kind of learned the value of constantly drinking water and keeping your hydration up. Another little pro tip from my manager, Kate, um, she was having really, really bad migraines and then she went to the doctor and they were like, have you tried just drinking more water? And she did. Now she drinks three liters of water a day and she doesn't have migraines anymore. So it's good for your general health too, which we've all known forever. They've always said drink eight glasses of water a day since the dawn of time. So maybe we should all get in on that and actually do it and maybe we'll be better off. My little pro tip for drinking water though too are these Propel fitness powder packets. This, for real, last time I was in Brazil, like, saved my life. I think I might have mentioned this in a video. When I dehydrated myself so badly, I was drinking a ton of water, and so I didn't get why I was so dehydrated. Someone was like, have you, like, drank some electrolytes or, like, put more electrolytes in your water? I was like, oh, no, I didn't, and I had these with me. I don't know why I wasn't using them, but literally I just put two of these packets into one bottle and drank it, and, like, I instantly felt better. It was ridiculous. <laughs> so now, from now on, every time I work out, I use one of these. Like, without fail, I will not just drink straight water when I'm working out. I always use this, and I'm definitely going to buy a ton of it before I go to Brazil and take it with me this time, so... I won't have the same issue I did before and I will actually use them every time I drink water instead of just sometimes like a week into the trip. So yeah, that's my story with that. Um, it has vitamin C and E and B and ex antioxidants in it and is really just really good for you. Like I can attest that I can have seen the benefits of this. So water plus propel, it's really, really great. Last but not least is kind of like a random little tip Technology is so a part of our culture now that it's no doubt that there are a ton of apps on your phone to like track calories and track, you know, steps you've taken in a day kind of thing. But I have discovered an app that I really actually like. My cousins discovered it a while ago and my cousin lost 40 pounds just by using this app and like doing what it told them to do. So craziness there, um, but it's called My Fitness Pal. And it literally, it's not complicated. You just input your food into it that you eat and input exercise that you did and how long you did it for. And at the beginning of you having the app, it'll ask you questions like how much you weigh and how much weight you're trying to lose, how, you know, your height and your average lifestyle kind of thing. Are you sedentary or really active? 
and it will then calculate like this is how many calories you can eat in a day and you input it and it's really nice too because it tracks brands of food so if you have like a Starbucks chai latte like you can type in Starbucks chai latte and it'll come up with exactly the amount of calories that are in that product which is really cool um so yeah that's really nice and it just makes it you know there's something kind of self-conscious about like knowing like oh if I eat this I have to input it in my little calorie tracker thing and so it does kind of keep you from eating bad foods which is nice um in one way uh, cause it stops you from, you don't want to put like, I ate 30 pieces of chocolate <laughs> into your little app. Um, but yeah, it's just been really helpful for me personally. I, you know, haven't noticed like, that I've lost weight because of it kind of thing. But I have definitely become more, I think, conscious of what I eat based on it, which is good for you. So you know, use the technology you have. My Fitness Pal. It is a good app. And it's free, which is also good. Free is good. Fleur de Force on her channel made a video that was kind of a fitness haul too, which I really enjoyed. And so I'm gonna link that below because I thought that that was fun. Um, yeah, and I don't know. I like when people talk about fitness and what they wear working out and what they do working out and the apps that they use. I just think it's fun time. So in any case, I'll link that video below and I'll link all of the things that I forgot to tell you below, things I've been up to, things you should see. Everything will be linked, and yeah, we'll see you hopefully soon. I'm really gonna try. I'm gonna, you, you can quote me on this, I'm gonna really try to make a video every week for the rest of the semester at the very least. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. Uh, hopefully I can do it. I have a good school schedule, so that should give me more time to film and edit. So we'll see if I actually practice that, but hopefully you'll be seeing way more of me, and I'll see you soon. Bye.